A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a deeply concerning development, aid agencies have reported that thousands of children in northern Gaza are at risk of missing critical polio vaccine doses due to the ongoing Israeli military offensive against Hamas. As the situation escalates, nearly 94,000 children in Gaza City were able to receive their second dose of the polio vaccine this past weekend, a significant effort that was delayed by intense bombardments and mass evacuation orders in the north of the territory. The Gazan Health Ministry confirmed the vaccination figures, highlighting the urgent need to protect children from polio, a disease that can have devastating consequences. The second phase of the vaccination campaign was originally scheduled to begin on October 23, but was postponed due to safety concerns regarding the ongoing conflict. The World Health Organization WHO, and UNICEF emphasized the need for a humanitarian pause to ensure the safety of health workers and families seeking vaccinations. With the Israeli military's continued offensive in northern Gaza, access to many areas has been severely restricted, leaving approximately 15,000 children under the age of 10 in these regions at risk of being overlooked during the vaccination campaign. The Gazan Health Ministry reported that, as of Saturday, a total of 437,774 children under the age of 10 had received their second dose across the entire Gaza Strip, with the campaign set to continue through Monday. However, the WHO and UNICEF warned that achieving the campaign's initial goal of vaccinating 119,000 children in northern Gaza is now unlikely due to the ongoing fighting and access constraints. The urgency of the situation has been underscored by reports of airstrikes near vaccination clinics, which have raised serious concerns about the safety of both health workers and children seeking vaccinations. UNICEF's executive director, Catherine Russell, expressed alarm over the violence, stating that airstrikes reportedly hit near the Sheikh Radwan Primary Health Center in Gaza City while parents were bringing their children for vaccinations. Tragically, six people, including four children, were injured in the attack. This incident highlights the dire consequences of the ongoing conflict as health officials strive to combat the resurgence of polio in the region. The polio vaccination effort began in response to the detection of the virus in Gaza's wastewater and the diagnosis of a baby with the first case in the territory in 25 years. Despite the challenges posed by the conflict, health officials remain committed to ensuring that as many children as possible are vaccinated against this preventable disease. However, the grim reality is that the success of this campaign hinges on the ability of Hamas and Israel to agree on humanitarian pauses and fighting. The situation remains fluid, with the potential for further escalation as the conflict continues to unfold. As the world watches, the health and well-being of countless children hang in the balance, underscoring the urgent need for a resolution to the ongoing crisis. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.